Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get this very dramatic look. I Instagrammed a picture of it and so many of you wanted a tutorial. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I've been posting a lot of makeup of the day type posts and on my blog as well. So they're kind of like mini tutorials that you don't really get to see here on YouTube. And when I do do a tutorial, I often pull from the ones that you guys really want to see. So make sure to follow me on there so you can have an input on the looks I do. And and I know this is super dramatic, but I think it's super fun and out there as well. So I hope you all enjoy and let's jump into the tutorial. First off, I'm using my Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation. This is one of my favorites. It has such good coverage and it lasts all day. I just really love this stuff. This is kind of like my go-to foundation. I'm just blending this all into my skin and a little bit down to my neck. I'm super pale right now. I really need to self-tan. So I want to make sure it's kind of blended evenly and doesn't look a totally different color. And next for my under eyes, my under eye bags are so dark today. So I'm using my Kevin Aquan concealer. Um, this actually isn't called a concealer. This is called the Sensual Skin Enhancer figures. Um, and you really only need the slightest bit. I just did a review on this on my makeup channel. I don't know if it's up yet. Probably not. It'll probably be up soon. But if you aren't subscribed to that channel, make sure to go subscribe. Um, if you aren't familiar with my Makeup Minute channel, I post all kinds of anything from makeup reviews to random reviews on other things to unboxing videos. So that's where all that kind of stuff is. I don't do it so much on this channel. But yeah. And I'm just applying this with my Sigma Precision Angled P84 Concealer Brush. I find this works the best to kind of get the product on my face and then I'm going to use my BB blender. So I'm just going up into my forehead. This is kind of where the light would naturally hit my face. So then after I get it on my face, obviously I don't want to leave it like this, so I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and just blend it all out. My cat is going crazy. I'm sorry if you could hear like animals jumping everywhere. I'm just going to pat this into my face. I don't want to rub it because then it's going to kind of rub it off. So you really just want to press it into your skin. Next, I'm going in with this Makeup Forever HD powder. This is just a setting powder and I'm going to pat that everywhere I just highlighted just to really soak it in and this is a translucent powder which I like to do when I highlight because it's not going to diminish from that highlight and make it my normal skin tone again. Um, it's just going to kind of set everything and prevent it from getting oily. It's not going to change the color of whatever you put on your face, if that makes sense, hopefully. So now what you want to do is take a creamy pencil black eyeliner. It can even be like a NYX Jumbo pencil. I'm using this NYX Slide On Eyeliner. The Milani ones will work good. Those are very creamy. And I am going to apply this all over my lid. Next, I'm going to get a flat eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to dip that and get it wet. This is going to make your eyeshadow be more bold. And I'm taking this NYX Big Shadow. It has been a, it's like a black color with some shimmer to it. And this is in the color Smoke and Mirrors. So it's really pretty. It has some shimmer. It's going to add some dimension to our eyes. And I'm going to set that on top and just kind of smooth everything out now. Next, I'm going to start blending this cool gray color into my crease, and this is from the Lorac 2 palette. It's kind of a mixture of a brown and a gray, so kind of like a taupe. So you want to find something like that. The brown undertones in it will really help warm up this look some. Um, you could use a matte brown, you could even use a gray if you want to, it doesn't have to be this exact color. So I'm taking it on a fluffy brush and just going to work it into my crease a slight bit. You know what, I actually want to use a smaller crease brush, just that way the colors don't get too mixed together and crazy. I think this will work better. So I'm going to start here with some concealer on a brush. This is the NYX concealer in a jar, and it's a cream concealer. You can use whatever kind of concealer you want, where you could use like an eyeshadow brush with it. Or if you don't have that, just use tape and place tape right here before you start the look. 
So for this, I have some concealer on my flat eyeshadow brush, and then I'm just going to go from my lower lash line and draw it straight out, kind of towards the bottom of my lash or my eyebrow. Take some just matte black on the brush and then work it into this outer crease and it's going to help define this line here because it's so dark. So I'm going in this outer V here and I'm working it up just a tad bit so that way the very top is still smoked out some and then I'm just going to go down. Now I'm also going to start working this under my lower lash line as well. Now before I finish up the eyeshadow on the bottom, I'm going to go in and line my waterline, both my waterline and my tight line, with that same black eyeliner. I'm going back with the pencil brush and I'm taking a bit of this light brown, mixing it with this cool gray, and then I'm going to work that from the outside all the way into the very inner corner of my eye and some of that black eyeliner that we just applied will smudge down because it's a very creamy eyeliner. It's going to smudge down and it's just going to create a nice smoky effect. So now I'm just going to add a bit of highlight, doesn't matter which one you use. I'm using um, Virgin from the Naked Palette. This is one of my favorite highlights um, of all time pretty much. <laughs> I just really, really love it. It's a very pretty pinky shimmery color very natural looking so I'm just going to apply a bit of that under my brow bone so today I'm gonna just use my L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Manga mascara it doesn't really matter because we are applying some falsies so just apply a quick coat For lashes, these are from Ardell. I don't know the exact number. They're the um, demi wispies, I believe. So first, I'm just gonna warm up my face with some bronzer. This is just from my Naked Flush palette. Just use whatever bronzer. I ran out of my NYC Sunny bronzer, so I need to get some more. I'm just gonna go where I would contour just with a little product. I'm not caking this on there, I'm not contouring too much, but this is just really going to add some glow to my face. You want to pick a very natural colored blush, and I've, I've had this blush for such a long time, but I've been wearing it all the time lately. This is a MAC Cream Blend blush in the color Lady Blush. but it just adds a bit of color. You don't want your cheeks to like sink back because your eyes are so bold. So this kind of like brings it forward. So I'm gonna use some highlight too, again from my Naked Flushed palette and just apply it from my cheekbones right in this area. You don't wanna to go too far forward. Just apply it there and it's really gonna give your face a little bit more dimension. Like I said, I'm going full out dramatic. I really like it with the red lips. I love red lips, but I also think this look would look super pretty with just a nude lip gloss. So I'm going to apply a lip liner, which I always love to do for red lips. And this is Jungle Red by NARS. And then you want to go in with a red lipstick. Again, use whatever you have. It could be drugstore. It does not matter. I recently just got this um, YSL lipstick in the color... It doesn't have a color. It's the number 17. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you all next time. Bye!